Good morning. Will sergeants please start their recordings? PC recording has started. Cloud is on the way. Thank you. It's rolling. Thank you. And good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on S Zoning and Franchise. At this time, would all council members and council staff please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you, Chair. We are ready to begin. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Council Member Francisco Moya, Chair of the Zoning, uh, Chair of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchises. Uh, I'm joined remotely today by Council Members Ayala, Rivera, Borelli, uh, and Brooks Powers. Uh, today we will vote to approve pre-considered LUs 738, 739, and 740 for the Arvin East a pro a proposal, which was heard by this subcommittee on February 23rd and which relates to property in council member Brooke Powers' district in Queens. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment affecting a portion of the Arvin urban renewal area from a C44 district to a special MX21 mixed use district as an M14R6 district. A zoning text amendment to establish the new MX21 district and the designation of the urban development action area and approval of the urban development action area project. The proposed actions would facilitate a mixed use development with approximately 1,650 dwelling units, including 1,320 affordable and 330 market rate units. 252,000 square feet of commercial space, 22,000 square feet of community facility space, 10,000 square feet of manufacturing space, 3.3 acres of privately owned recreation and open space, 15 acres of public open space, and approximately 1,765 parking spaces. Council Member Brooks Powers is in support of the proposal. Um, but before I recognize uh, uh, Council Member Brooke Powers. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge that we have been joined by Council Members Levin and Reynoso. Uh, and with that, I'd like to one uh, welcome you, Council Member, uh, to the City Council. It's great to uh, meet you, and uh, congratulations on this uh, project uh, that you have right in front of you. Uh, what a way to start off uh, your first week at the Council. Uh, so I'd like to turn it over to you, uh, Councilwoman, for uh, some remarks. Thank you so much, Chair Moya. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so today the subcommittee will vote on the Arvin East application and project, which has been a decades long planning process. Um, the proposed actions before the subcommittee will facilitate the construction of the Eastern portion of the Arvin urban renewal area by designating the central portion of the urban renewal area as a nature preserve and a new mixed use district to facilitate the construction of a brewery. Um, I want to recognize the hard work and dedication um, my predecessor, now borough president, has put into this project. This project was initially contemplated as a mixed use <laughs> development that was 80% market rate and 20% affordable. The first phase, including two buildings, will include approximately 500 affordable housing units with 100 units set aside for families earning between 40% and 50% AMI. 100 units set aside for families earning 30% AMI and 75 units for the formerly homeless population. The applicant has agreed to meet the goal of 30% of the project Contracts um, are given to MWBEs and emphasis on local hiring within the Rockaway Peninsula in the zip codes nearest the project site. The applicant has also committed to working in good faith with local labor unions during construction and operation of the project site. The applicant is also committed to working with our office and other local stakeholders to identify the best use of the 22,000 square footage of floor area reserved for community facility uses. I look forward to bringing the local community together to identify what use would be the highest benefit for the Rockaway community. I'm pleased that the administration has committed to working with my office to locate 
to locate address, excuse me, to address the urgent need for new health care on the peninsula. The recent actions by the New York State Department of Health to potentially convert St. John's Hospital into a micro hospital underscores the need for greater capacity. Having the second deadliest zip code the Rockway, on the Rockway Peninsula, which was hardest hit by COVID and prioritizing preventative healthcare measures and additional emergency capacity are all sorely needed. Um, they're also, excuse me, sorely needed amenities to ensure we do not see the same inequities in how much harder COVID affected low income communities and communities of color in a future health crisis. I look forward to expediting the, the siting of this facility and I will fight to see this project as responsive to the needs of the community. We are quite honestly, at an inflection point when we see this new development and families still fighting to make ends meet. Far Rockaway is beautiful, resilient, and determined. The residents have absorbed so much from Superstorm Sandy to this global pandemic. We welcome all those who recognize our thriving community and wish to invest, reside, and become a, a fabric of the community. But we must be serious about more than 80 acres of city land to ensure we leverage it properly. I have and will continue to fight for diversity, inclusion, and equity, strengthening the broadband infrastructure to shrink the digital divide and a holistic community benefits agreement. These are important ingredients that are not found here at this time, but the developer team that consists of LM. Bluestone and Triangle Equities have committed to working with my office to ensure that these aforementioned issues and more are addressed post haste. More importantly, the developer team has a chance to prove why they're different. I have decided to move forward to make this project better, but under no terms will the needs of the community be ignored. Finally, I thank the applicant for committing to meeting with the Community Advisory Board to monitor the development and progress of this significant mixed use pro development project. This is not the end of the planning process for this site, but really just the beginning. I look forward to ensuring that this project is a benefit and not a burden on our community. As the, pro the project progresses, we will make sure that any nuances from construction and operation of the site are properly addressed by the applicant. In particular, I look forward to ensuring that the brewery located on the project site does not reduce the quality of life of neighboring residents and does not impact any local school operation. We desperately need more affordable housing, not just in the Rockaways, but across the city. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this application. I look forward to working with you in the very near future on a wide range of issues facing our respective communities and the city as a whole. Thank you, Chair Moya. Thank you. And uh, once again, congratulations to you uh, on this project. Um, so I now I want to call a vote to approve the pre-considered LU 738, 739, and 740 relating to the Arvin East development uh, proposal. Uh, Council, can you please call the roll? Chair Moya. I vote aye. Council Member Levin. Uh, I want to uh, thank and welcome Council Member Brooks Powers. Um, uh, welcome to the committee and welcome to the council. Um, and thank you for your um, diligent work on this land use matter um, in your first days uh, on the job. Uh, and I commend you and I vote aye on all. Council Member Reynoso. Uh, congrats, uh, Council Member Brooks. I just want to say this is a, a very busy first day. You did a great job. Uh, looking forward to working with you. Uh, and I vote aye on all. Council Member Ayala. Sorry, I'm having difficulty here. Um, I also want to welcome Council Member Brooks Powers. Uh, congratulations on your first day. I'm really excited to work with you. Um, you did great. Uh, and I also vote aye. Council Member Rivera. Congratulations to the new council member and really, really happy to have you in the council now. Big deal today. And I probably vote aye on all. Council Member Borelli. 
Thank you and welcome to our newest colleague and congratulations on a busy first day and I hope. Chair, the vote currently stands at six in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions. The vote will remain uh, open as we wait for uh, Council Member Greenwich. Great, thank you. Council uh, Member Grudenchik on a uh, vote of the land use items. How do you vote? Uh, thank you, Arthur. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I vote aye and all. Chair Moya, uh, the vote is seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. The uh, items are approved for recommendation to the full land use committee. Thank you. Uh, and that concludes today's business. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, subcommittee council, land use, and other council staff, and the sergeant at arms for participating in today's meeting. This meeting.